Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Cling Lady and I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a pop-up page book pad, which is just perfect for First Communion. If you'd like to learn how to create it, I'm going to show you step by step. For my project, I'm going to use the new collection called Blessed Day One, designed by absolutely amazing Katarzyna Made. As you can see, there are lots of beautiful elements to fussy cut, and all of these are absolutely gorgeous. In the collection, you also get some absolutely fabulous flowers, A4 design papers, and also squared papers. Not only that, but you also get some DL size design papers and beautiful digi stamps as well, which I think is absolutely amazing. If you've never ever created first communion card and if you'd like a beautiful with pastel colors collection, this one is for you. In the description down below, I left the link to the whole collection so you can check it out. And it is a digital collection, which means when you buy it, you can print it as many times as you want. And I really encourage you to have a look. So, as you can see, the color palette is absolutely fabulous. Now, let's create our card base. I'm going to show you step by step how to create all those elements. Let's create the inside of the card first. So, I'm going to need 12 and a half of an inch by 7 inch. And this will be the inside of my card. So as you can see, I'm going to score it in half, which is six and one quarter. Then when I fold it exactly in half here, I'm going to have the fold line on the left hand side. And I think that will be the easiest way to follow it. So first, I'm going to show you where to create cut lines. And then I'm going to write all the numbers in inches. And I think this this is the easiest way to do it. So let's create some elements. The first score line will be here and I'm going to do all the score lines in green and it will be two inches long. And this element will be two and a half of an inch and the bottom one as well. Then I'm going to have six inches on this side. So then it means the very bottom and the very top are half of an inch. And then the small panel on that side will be three quarters of an inch. The length of this panel will be four inches. And then I'm going to create two fold lines here at three and a half of an inch. Super quick and simple, right? If you want, you can take a screenshot and this, as you can see, is going to be seven inches down and six and one quarter long. So now let's create that panel. I've got my beautiful cut white one. And as you can see, it is seven inches by 12 and a half of an inch. And I'm going to score it exactly in half, which is six and one quarter. When this is ready, then I'm going to use a ruler just to make it easier for myself to create all the score lines. And as you saw with the green color, it is super easy. So let's do it. I'm going to have my fold line on the left hand side. So as you can see, I'm going to have the picture here. So the fold line is here. Then I'm going to put my ruler. And then I'm going to use my bone folder. So I'm going to place it at one and a half of an inch. And from half an inch down, I'm going to create two inches score line. So I'm going to leave half an inch from the top and two inches down at one and a half of an inch. And I'm going to do exactly the same from the bottom. I'm going to leave half an inch and then create two inches score line. Just hold your card so it doesn't move. So when this is ready, then we need to create two very small score lines. One at the top at three and a half of an inch, which is just half of an inch. And then again from the very bottom. So three and a half of an inch and I'm going up half of an inch. I was inspired by absolutely fabulous tutorial by 
Ankita's Craft Kone. And I'm going to leave the link to her video tutorial in the description down below if you're interested. And I really think you would like all the colors she used. Now I'm going to use my trimmer and create the cut lines. So as you can see, I've got my trimmer from Creative Craft Products and I'm going to place my cut so it's easier for you to see. So let's create those cutting lines. I'm going to place it at six and a half of an inch and I'm going to place my blade here and I'm going to do four inches all the way. So now it's four inches. You have to press and just do it. Sometimes we just are a little bit scared, but I do encourage you to do it. And if it doesn't cut at the first go, you can always go back. And that's exactly what's amazing with any trimmer. Now I'm going to place my cut at half of an inch and I'm going to do the same. From one and a half of an inch, I'm going to create four inches cut line. And then, as you can see, we have it ready, so we have to place it now here. And this one will be three quarters of an inch. So when this is ready, I'm going to place it here, which is super, super easy to do. And if you always struggle with the measurements, don't forget that you can always take a screenshot of the measurements I created. And later on, I'm going to show you how to create some other elements for the card. So now this is ready and we need to create those two score lines. And remember, they were at two and a half of an inch. So if you struggle, you can always move your card or actually just turn it over and that will be perfectly fine. So this one is two and a half of an inch and super easy. And then our inside of the cut will be nearly ready. If your trimmer didn't cut all the elements, you can always use a craft knife. And that's what I'm going to do in one of the corners. So do not worry. And to create this cut, I do recommend heavy weight cut. In this case, I've got 270 GSM. Have you ever created a first communion card? If you haven't, I really hope you'll give this card a go. Not only it is, okay, it might look challenging, but in the end it is not. But it looks absolutely amazing when you finish it. Now it will be time to fold and burnish all those scorings. So as you can see, we are already going to have that pop-up element. And with all those scorings, it is super easy to do. All you have to do is just to follow them and use your bone folder. So if you're looking for absolutely amazing First Communion collection, I do encourage you to have a look at this Blessed Day 1 by Katarzyna Madej. And you can go to her website, which is camadigital.pl. Now I'm going to create two elements just to make my cut a little bit stronger. So I need seven inches by two and a half. And I'm going to create two squares here, which I'm going to cut off. And these will be two inches by two inches. And then we need a score line at three and a half of an inch. So as you can see, the very bottom will be just half of an inch. So let's create those. And again, I'm going to use just the leftover white card that I don't need for the card I'm going to create. So always keep your scraps. So this one is seven inches by two and a half of an inch. And I'm going to place it at two inches and I'm going to create two inches cut line at half an inch. It really makes sense when you make it. So then I'm going to move my blade to seven inches and go to five inches. I'm going to rotate it and I need to do two inches. So in the end, it looks like very thick T letter. And we need two of those. So one will go at the bottom and one at the top just to make our cut stronger. So if you do like fancy folds, I really, really hope this video will inspire you to create a pop-up card. It is super cool to create. If your trimmer makes some 
cat learns that they're not very neat, it's always a good idea to use your scissors. And again, I'm going to fold and burnish that score line. And now it will be time to attach it to the inside of the card. And as you can see, you can't really see where it's going to be attached. And that's what I really like about this card. I'm going to use my liquid glue, one and only, so I do have time to maneuver the elements. And before you adhere that element inside of your card, I do encourage you just to leave that element to set properly because it will really make a difference. So that will be the inside of the card. And then we're going to need two pieces of the same white card to create the front and the back. And it is super easy. All you have to do is to create two panels and I'm going to show you all the measurements in the moment. Now, I really want to make sure that that inside pop-up element is going to work amazingly. So let's create the front and the back. I've got eight and one quarter by eight and one quarter of an inch. And then I've got eight and one quarter by eight and three quarters. And I'm going to score it at half an inch all the way down. And then using my bone folder, I'm just going to create that score line and it is time to fold and burnish it. And I'm going to attach those two panels together to give me the front and the back of the card. So in the end, it is the biggest card I've created so far. But to be honest, I'm very happy with the result. Sometimes we think that smaller cards are absolutely amazing, but I really hope you will give this card a go because you will have plenty of space to decorate it. And in that beautiful blessed day one collection there are lots of elements you can use to decorate your projects now as you can see i'm just showing you how it's going to look like when we assemble those two elements together so as i'm going to create two panels using the design papers from the collection and i'm going to cut them at two and a half of an inch and i'm going to attach them exactly where the score line is in the middle of my card. So I do have those two florals a little bit of the center. And I think that's what's going to make a real difference in this card. So if you do like decorate your cards inside, this fancy fold is definitely for you. What do you think about those colors so far? Do you like those pale pinks? I think they are simply, simply gorgeous. Now we're going to attach the inside panel and you have to make sure that the very end touches the edge of the outside of the card. I'm going to put the glue only on that small element that looks like, let's say, not even E letter. I'm going to press, make sure I burnish it properly, and then I'm going to apply the glue on the other side. And then I do encourage you to leave this card to dry before you move on. So then we can decorate all the other elements. So at this point, I thought I absolutely love the pinks inside. So I'm going to use different design paper, but with the same colors. And I've got two panels and they will actually cover the inside here. And I think this is so cool. So in the end, you won't really see the mechanism. So these panels will measure five and three quarters by seven and 13 over 16. And I need two of those. As you can see, they will just fit perfectly. And I'm going to have a white border inside of my card. And I really like that in card making because I think that really makes all the projects very special. If you have created first communion cards in the past, did you use any collections or did you create all the design papers yourselves? I think at the moment, this collection is my totally favorite. So I'm going to definitely use it again. Now we need four panels for the inside and they will measure one inch and a half by 
two and a half of an inch. And I decided to use a green design paper from that amazing collection with polka dot designs. I'm going to leave the lace pattern for a different project. Now it will be time to assemble them on the cut inside. And again, you can leave that project to dry for about, I don't know, three minutes before you move on to create some panels for the inside, which we've got on the left and on the right. And I think this style is just perfect for first Holy Communion occasion, because you always think about the Bible and that holy book they've got for this special occasion. So I thought that would be the way to create my very first Holy Communion cut this year. Now we're going to need two panels and they will measure four inches by six inches. So in this collection, you've got beautiful elements using some pinks, greens and grays. And at this point, I thought let's use that beautiful floral element with the green design. And I think this just works so well with the whole card. So now it will be time to assemble them. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I've got lots of elements that are too fussy cut. And off camera, I actually did that and I always keep them in the back together with the collection. So I'm going to use some of the elements to decorate the inside of the card. But first, let's decorate the cover. Let's say the front panel. So I decided to use a craft card and this one is measuring 8 inches by 8 inches and the design paper is 7 and 3 quarters by 7 and 3 quarters. And I have to admit that all the florals in this collection are absolutely gorgeous and they match beautifully with every single element. So if you're looking for absolutely fabulous collection, this one is it. And you can check the description down below with the link because you can also use it for very special birthday occasions as well. So as you can see, the card works really well. Now there will be time to decorate it with some elements that I fussy cut. And I'm going to put them on the left hand side. So as you can see, we do have different elements with different sizes, colors, and I think they just work so well together. And to be honest, all those florals in this collection just repeat, which I think that what makes it very, very special. And it's always a good idea to place all your elements first before you start attaching them on your project. So this way you will know exactly if they're going to fit on your project. At this point, I decided to add some dimension and double-sided foam pads is the way to go for me. How often do you use them in your card making? Please let me know in the comments down below. I also wonder, have you ever created such a big card? Because sometimes it is challenging, but then in the end you can play with all the elements. You already fussy cut from different collections, or you can use some Amphara, and that will be absolutely amazing. So do you think creating first communion cards in January is a little bit too early? Or maybe you've got a lot of them to make, so you're actually starting creating them now. Please let me know in the comments down below. It's always a good idea to use your pokey tool to peel off the backing of that double-sided tape and then use few drops of liquid glue. So this way all the elements will be adhered forever and that's exactly what we want. Here I've got a circular element from this collection and I actually didn't show you that in the video but I created loads of them. In this collection you also have them and they are actually called stamps and then you can use your circular nesting dice to cut all of those and they they have some images with girls and with the sentiments, which I think is absolutely amazing. And again, I really wanted to make sure that all the elements will match on my card, so I used exactly the same craft card. Now it will be time for the cross, and again, I decided to use some double-sided foam pads because dimension is always amazing. It is such a shame that you can't really see it, 
on the video here, but in real life, it really makes a difference. And again, you can use your pokey tool to peel off the backing. So what do you think about this card so far? Would you like to give it a go? Or maybe you think you've got a different occasion you'd like to use this fancy fold for. Please let me know in the comments down below. As you can see, these flowers in the collection are simply gorgeous. So I thought I'm going to add even more at the bottom of my card. I simply couldn't resist. And there are loads and loads in this collection. So now it will be time to decorate the inside of the card. And I chose a couple of elements. So here they are. And I think they just work so well together. So when I had a look at the inside, I thought I really like the green design paper. So I chose a different green design paper from that beautiful Blessed Day 1 collection. And I'm going to create two elements that are 4 inches by 6 inches. So these two will measure exactly the same as the inside panels, which is 4 inches by 6 inches. And when I place them, the card will be complete. And at the very back, you've got lots of space to write your message, or you can create an envelope and adhere it there. And then you can put some money in, or you can also write a long message as well. So that's how the inside of the card looks. I really have to say that in real life, it is very impressive. So now it is time to add some pearls in the corners and the card is complete. So do you like the color palette? Do you like the fancy fold? I'm really curious what you think. And if you like this collection, do not worry. I'm going to have more videos with that amazing collection. But also, I forgot to tell you, there is a boys version as well. And I'm going to leave the link to this one in the description down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check that beautiful collection and the website by Katarzyna Madej. And I also left the link to her Facebook group. 